thank you so much for checking out my blog today. The topic is life-defining moments. Sounds pretty intense, right? Well, we all have those moments where it's like, whoa, do I need to go left? Do I need to go right? Do I need to keep going the same direction? Big decision times, or maybe something happens to us that is completely out of left field, like my interview today, Ariel. She was in an accident completely caught her off guard and it was a huge life-defining moment so check out her story hey you guys today as you know we're talking about life-changing moments life-altering moments and when you guys hear Ariel's story you are gonna know that this was a life-altering moment for her this is Ariel she is a sophomore in high school and about two years ago she had a crazy accident so Ariel will you tell them what happened yeah so I was in a dirt bike accident and I crashed into a four-wheeler and my helmet came off and I ended up face planting on cement and I broke like the whole right side of my face and had a brain bleed and um, it was two and a half centimeters thick and if someone comes in with a brain bleed that's one centimeter thick then they have to do surgery immediately and so they came in to do surgery at 4 a.m and the doctors were just amazed. They like looked at my chart and they asked me if I was Ariel. They like looked at my chart. They're like, you were awake? Yeah. Like they could communicate with you? I was responsive, you? like oh everything. My so they asked me like, are you Ariel? Like they looked at it, they're like, you shouldn't be how you are. Like they just couldn't right. explain it. Were they saying that you should be in a coma basically? Yeah. They and, said but I should yeah, be in a coma. were awake through the whole... Mm -hmm. I should I shouldn't have been oh responsive gosh. like they did all these tests yeah. like asked me questions and I shouldn't have had the right answers like I should have been like not but you right. were sharp like you could answer yeah. all their questions and stuff so what happened at that point did they they had to do surgery at that like, point they didn't need to do surgery and they actually like I was put in like medical record books for the largest brain blade that ever that they've ever had that didn't need surgery and a doctor later on told me that that like changes like doctors' perspectives because if people came in wow. with a brain bleed like that before, they would have just done surgery, and now they can think of that as an option. Wow. So you literally, basically, people from now on that are in your situation, you could almost save their life because yeah. they surgery is a big deal. That's yeah. amazing. Just because two years has passed you still have things that you have to walk through daily because of the yeah. accident. What kind of things do you go through? Because you said you just need a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> as cheesy as that sounds, it's true. Um, well, just in like the day-to-day -day life, like the part of like the brain that I hit was actually like the emotional part mm -hmm. of your brain. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard just in different things that happen. If I have like really yeah. stressful days, then sometimes I just melt and it's hard to like just be strong and like yeah. I can't do like sports I used to do I can't do different things so it's really hard sometimes like it's easy to keep like strong when you're around right. all your friends right. and stuff but then sometimes you just get in your bedroom and you're like right. why totally, totally. So, yeah. um, I think definitely life-changing experiences like yours so was makes and breaks people yeah. and obviously it's making you but understanding that it's there's still challenges in going through and getting maybe not over but walking through a hard situation and so I just want to thank you so much for sharing how you are turning a negative thing into a positive I know you just spoke at a major conference which is so cool you said that doctors are now looking at your case as a study for other people. I mean, that's amazing. That that was a life-changing experience that you're turning around. Could have been really, really bad. Could have stolen your happiness and a lot more. But yet, it's it's doing good things for you because you have a good attitude on it. So thank you so much for being an example. So Thanks for hanging out. And we are going to go to Tia right now for her tips. A life-defining moment can change the way you see yourself for the rest of your life. You may have been left with a scar, you may have been left with no hair. Whatever it is that has happened to you that you no longer like about yourself, don't let that define who you are. Let it just be part of your story. Don't let it change how you used to dress or what you used to do. Just embrace it as part of your journey. I had a client who had breast cancer and lost all of her hair and after struggling for months with one wig or another wig which she found very itchy, she embraced her short hair and she absolutely loved it and I tell you she had never looked better. 
Even now, she's five years from recovery and she still wears her short hair because it makes her look 10 years younger. So just embrace it, still love yourself. Who you are will always be there no matter what has changed about you. Thank you so much, Tia. Doesn't she have great tips? Well, I'm loving talking about life-defining defi moments because this may be a little bit cheesy, but what it reminds me of is Siri. You know, you put on the map on your iPhone, if you have an iPhone, I'm sure your friends do if you don't. You put on the map where you want to go, and if you go the right, wrong way, what does it say? It says, reroute, reroute, reroute. And sometimes you don't want to, and you're like, stop it. That's kind of what life-defining moments are. They can be a complete stop to our life where we decide, you know what, I don't want to go on, this is too huge. Like Ariel, if she had stopped her life, look, she wouldn't have made such a big difference. But we can decide, okay, this is just a little detour. I'm going to be rerouted, and there are still some amazing things coming up ahead. And so I want you guys to know that each of you have an amazing purpose. You have amazing destiny. I know those are some crazy words and kind of beyond us, but I truly believe that you do have a purpose. And when you start to discover what you love to do, what you're passionate about, take that moment that maybe could have derouted you, completely stopped your life, and use it for your purpose. Next week, we're going to be having another great subject. I hope that you join us, and we'll see you next Monday.